Hello and welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and today I'm going to be doing a liquid eyeliner head-to-head -head review of these two products here. Both are from the drugstore, both are extremely affordable. We're going to see which one wears the best, uh, lasts the longest, things like that. So if you could, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you want to see this head-to-head -head liquid eyeliner uh, review, um, just keep on watching. Is first the NYX City Proof 24 Hour it doesn't, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So here's the product here. Um, it is waterproof. It says 24 hour intense color. Uh, you get 0 0.11 fluid ounces or 3.5 milliliters of product. Um, and then the color I got was Extreme Black or 889 as they show here. Um, it says intensify your eye look with rich color that lasts up to 24 hours. With a long wearing waterproof formula, rest assured that this transfer resistant eyeliner will last all day and night. Never apply this product in a moving vehicle. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Do not use any eye cosmetic if your eye is irritated, injured, and effect in or infected. It's a very good tip. You should go to your eye doctor if you do have a eye infection or injury. Um, and then the other product I'm doing is Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all it says. Well, let's go to the back. Formulated with a high definition pigment and a unique blend of polymers for a rich fluid formula that dries fast and stays put to subtly, subtly enhance. Sub it's so hard. Sud, sub, 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 subtly? Subtly? Subtly. Subtly enhance or dramatically define. An easy to control, flexible brush delivers precise application. Mouthful. Just so you know, for prices, uh, I purchased both from Walmart, and the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black was four dollars and ninety-seven cents, and the NYC uh, City Proof uh, Liquid Eye uh, Liquid Yeah Liquid Eyeliner was three dollars and ninety-seven cents, and that is the waterproof one, and then the Wet n Wild is the smudge proof one. Um, and oh, in the Wet n Wild, you get 0.12 fluid ounces as compared to the NYC, which you get 0.11. Almost exactly the same. They put the same amount of mils. They both say 3.5 milliliters. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to put one on one eye and then the other on the other eye. So let's do the Wet n Wild Mega Liner first, and we're gonna apply that to my right eye, which is right here. So this is the Mega Liner. It's for Mega, it's so little. So I've applied um, my regular face makeup and eye makeup. I applied some eyeshadow um, and some mascara. My L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which isn't waterproof. So just pulling out this eyeliner. It is like kind of like a paint pot. Um, it has a brush tip applicator there. So yeah, it looks like eyeliner, let's see how it wears. All right, I found the formula kind of watery, but it like was super smooth and it went on pretty easily it just I just felt like it flicked a little bit everywhere I'm just gonna let it dry and I don't know if you notice when I'm doing my eyeliner I don't really like draw out what I'm gonna do I just kind of like go in there and whatever happens that day is what I'm gonna go with and then I just really try to match it with the other eye it was very pigmented so it didn't really like tug or like have any patchy spots I am gonna go back in and fix that outside edge there. Pro tip, if you use your cheek to um, steady your hand, sometimes that helps um, make a straighter line and just give you a little bit more stability. So that's my trick tip for you there. So I think that's dry. That's our wet and wild there. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the NYC. 
uh, liquid eyeliner which is waterproof and we're gonna do my left eye here so the packaging for this one is kind of cool it's like blue sparkly almost hollow color it's like changing colors as I move it the city proof um, 24 by NYC so I'm gonna go in go with my left eye and see how it wears compared to my um, wet n wild mega last so let's zoom in so you can see my wet n wild eye there so we're gonna do the other eye so just opening up the packaging again brush tip I would say the wet n wild was a little bit finer but I mean this is still pretty fine let's apply and hopefully match to the other eye I would say the NYC is a little bit um, thicker. It didn't um, seem to flick around as much, but once the um, Wet n Wild did dry, it seems super matte and like, it doesn't look like it's gonna move much. The, I'm still waiting for the uh, NYC to um, dry, but right now it's a little shiny. So we'll see if it dries matte. Um, and I'll be right back. I've applied the eyeliner to both my eyes here. Um, so now we're gonna do a quick um, wipe test, see if it transfers or transfer test, see if it um, moves. And then I'm also gonna try spraying myself with a little bit of water, which should be fun because the rest of my eye makeup isn't waterproof. Even though one is um, waterproof and the one is smudge proof, I don't want, I don't expect the Wet n Wild one to stay on, but I would hope that it would like come off nicely. Just trying to see which one is the best overall. Best bang for your buck here. Uh, NYC one is still pretty like shiny, almost like patent um, leather kind of finish to it. So if you prefer a matte eyeliner, I would say go with the Wet n Wild. Uh, it definitely like dried down pretty matte and if it's smudge proof, that's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So we'll see. Now I'm gonna go in with a uh, Q-tip and wipe and see if I can take off any of the liner. So let's see what we can do. All right, so, so got a little bit of the eyeliner off with that Q-tip. Still on, but it definitely did smudge and fade a bit, but it's not, it didn't flake off. But it definitely, I don't know if that's smudge proof per se. So now going back in with a clean Q-tip, I'm gonna go in and wipe and do the same thing to my uh, NYC side. So going in here and wiping the wing. I would say I got a little like a couple chunks. The rest I think is just from the shadow. You can see that there. So that's what I got off on the uh, uh, NYC side. So I would say the waterproof uh, aspect of the NYC helped a lot, but the Wet n Wild was supposed to be smudge proof. So I would say mm. now for a, another test, I'm going to be spraying my face with water and seeing how if anything drips off of either side or if it uh, changes how the liner wears at all. Um, I just filled up my uh, NYX uh, setting spray, my matte setting spray, and I just filled it up with water. I, it was almost empty on this one, so I just poured it into the, uh, my backup. So I'm gonna just close my eyes and spray. Okay, opening up my eyes. See the damage. Oh, we have a runner. We have a runner. Let me zoom you in here. So as you can see, I'm starting to form a second wing here with my uh, Wet n Wild um, liquid eyeliner, the Megalast eyeliner. So it's definitely running. So if you get hit with a couple of raindrops, you don't expect it to stay on. Like I get it that it's not waterproof, but like this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> so bad the NYC waterproof uh, definitely is staying on and not budging it didn't fade it at all yeah nothing NYC is staying solid 
we are getting really bad with the uh, wet and wild here. It is wet and wild on this. <laughs> that test definitely separated the top tier from the meh tier. All right, so we're back. I tried to salvage this eye. It didn't work that well. Now it looks like I put some like black shadow in my crease and the liner was all messed up compared to the other side and I just couldn't get them even and I just gave up. But anyway, I just wanted to make myself a little bit more presentable. To conclude, I really liked the uh, NYC City Proof 24 hour. I felt like it was easier to apply. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it is waterproof. The only downside where the Wet n Wild did win was that the Wet n Wild is matte and this one is a little bit more like pat and shine, but I find that most um, t uh, waterproof formulas for liquid eyeliner I do have a little bit of a shine to them. It's not bad. It doesn't look like really obvious, but I, I notice it a little bit. Uh, overall wear test, I would say that the if you want a good liquid eyeliner that you can trust that'll stay on all day, rain, snow, uh, sunshine, heat, watery eyes, all of that, then I would recommend the NYC um, City Proof 24 Hour. Um, I thought that this is a really good liner and um, you can't really get more for your dollar. I think it's a great deal, so I would say that one. And um, if you do want something a little bit easier to remove, maybe the Wet n Wild is a good choice for you. It's still really cheap and it's still a good eyeliner. It's just maybe a little less smudge proof, smudge proof than they said it was. Um, but overall, still a great liner. So I really appreciate you watching. I would really also appreciate if you could like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, I'm just starting out and I would really appreciate the support and I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching again and have a wonderful day. What am I doing?